For decades, scientists believed that modern humans, Homo sapiens, emerged around 300,000 years ago in Africa. However, recent genetic and fossil evidence suggests that the story of human origins might be much older and far more complex than we ever imagined. New findings in ancient DNA sequencing, fossil records and interbreeding theories have pushed the timeline of human ancestry far beyond previous estimates. Could the origins of modern humans be as old as 500,000 years or even earlier? Let's explore the latest discoveries that are reshaping our understanding of human evolution. The study of paleogenetics has made significant strides in recent years, allowing scientists to extract and analyze ancient DNA from fossils hundreds of thousands of years old. These groundbreaking studies have revealed astonishing results, suggesting that modern humans may carry genetic traces from species that lived over 500,000 years ago. One, Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA are closest extinct relatives. Neanderthals and Denisovans lived between 400,000 and 40,000 years ago. DNA studies have confirmed that modern humans share genetic material with them, meaning interbreeding between species occurred much earlier than previously believed. Some scientists argue that certain Neanderthal and Denisovan genes might have originated from even older hominin species, pushing the timeline back to 500,000 plus years ago. 2. Ghost Lineages – The Mystery of Unknown Human Ancestors Scientists have discovered genetic markers in modern human DNA that do not match any known fossilized hominin species. This suggests the existence of yet-to-be-discovered ancient human species that lived over 500,000 years ago and contributed to our genetic makeup. These ghost lineages could belong to unknown groups that interbred with early Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. Three oldest human ancestors. A recent study in Nature revealed that fossils from North Africa and Eurasia suggest that early human-like populations may have roamed the Earth as early as 600,000 years ago. This challenges the traditional timeline of human evolution as these ancient humans seem to share traits with both modern humans and Neanderthals. These genetic findings raise a crucial question. Have we underestimated the complexity and age of our own species? DNA alone isn't the only factor rewriting human history. Archaeological discoveries are also revealing that our ancestors might be older than we thought. First up, the Jebel Irhud skull from Morocco, dating back 300,000 years. Found in Morocco, this skull represents one of the oldest known fossils of early Homo sapiens. The individual had a modern brain structure, but a more archaic skull shape, suggesting a long period of evolutionary transition. Next, we have Homo naledi from South Africa, living between 335,000 and 250,000 years ago. This mysterious species had a small brain like earlier hominins, but modern skeletal features, indicating that multiple human-like species coexisted. If interbreeding occurred, this could mean that Homo sapiens inherited DNA from species much older than expected. And then there's Dragon Man from China, around 146,000 years old. Discovered in China, this skull is believed to belong to a previously unknown branch of ancient humans. Some researchers believe Dragon Man may be a missing link between early hominins and modern humans. So what does this mean? If DNA evidence supports interbreeding between these species and Homo sapiens, it could mean our evolutionary history is twice as old as previously thought. Our species may not have been a single isolated group, but rather a mixture of different human-like populations over hundreds of thousands of years. Some controversial studies suggest that hominins left Africa much earlier than previously assumed, possibly over one million years ago. One, Atapuerca fossils, Spain, 430,000 years old. Found in Spain, these fossils belong to a group of early humans believed to be direct ancestors of both Neanderthals and modern humans. If these humans were already in Europe over 400,000 years ago, it raises questions about the actual timeline of migration from Africa. Two findings in China and Southeast Asia. Fossil discoveries suggest that unknown hominin species may have existed up to 500,000 years ago in Asia. This means modern humans 
may not have originated solely in Africa, but possibly in multiple regions at the same time? Could modern humans have evolved in multiple locations instead of just Africa? This is a question that scientists are still debating. If modern human DNA contains genetic traces from species dating back 500,000 years, what does this mean for our understanding of history? Our ancestry is not a straight line. Instead of a simple out-of-Africa migration, human evolution appears to be a complex web of interbreeding species. The out-of-Africa model needs revision. While Africa is still considered the main birthplace of humans, the evidence suggests that humans migrated and evolved in multiple regions simultaneously. Undiscovered ancient human species may still exist. The presence of ghost lineages in DNA means that there may be hominin species we have yet to discover. The idea that our genetic roots could stretch back over 500,000 years challenges everything we thought we knew about human history. Key takeaways from these discoveries. Modern humans share genes with species from over 500,000 years ago. Some ancient human ancestors may still be undiscovered. The timeline of human migration and evolution may be much older than we thought. Interbreeding played a far greater role in our genetic history than previously assumed. As science and technology continue to advance, new discoveries will keep shaping and reshaping our understanding of human origins. Who knows what other secrets our DNA will reveal in the future? Subscribe for more groundbreaking discoveries about history and science. Check the latest updates in the comments and description.